injured. I'm gonna help you, okay? Full city's on alert. All right, let's move. Sergeant Tutu Ola. I am so proud of you. Do I look familiar? I've never forgotten you. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Liam Neeson, NBC Tonight. This is NBC4 News at 11. Now at 11 o'clock tonight, take a look at this. It's our first look at this dangerous high-speed chase of a man who was wanted for killing a Riverside County deputy just after Christmas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. The suspect, he led them on a pursuit, a long pursuit, shortly after killing Deputy Isaiah Cordero. Our Robert Kavasik is in studio with us tonight. He has the new video, both from the air and from the ground. Robert. And Colleen, what you're all about to see is how it ended in Norco in late December. The all-out manhunt following the murder of a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy. The release of this video comes as an outcry grows as to why the alleged killer, a three-time convicted felon, was not behind bars. And we do want to give you a disclaimer here. Some of the video you're about to see you may find disturbing. Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Isaiah Cordero was shot four times during a traffic stop on December 29th. Hours later, law enforcement in pursuit of his alleged killer, 44-year-old William Shea McKay. Crossing under the bridge on 6, approaching 2nd. Department shows the pursuit from their helicopter. Brandishing and shooting American handgun. Back up front, please. Just two feet right under the bridge. Two feet under the bridge. Fire, Sheriff Chad Bianco narrates the conclusion. McKay began firing a pistol at deputies and a deputy involved shooting occurred. What is labeled the critical incident video also includes this. We will now show you body worn camera video of the involved deputies. Brandishing and shooting a handgun. McKay's violent history is being called into question, specifically why a judge lowered bail for McKay in November of 2021 following his conviction on his third felony strike for charges of kidnapping and robbery. There was a warrant for his arrest when Deputy Cordero pulled him over and the Chino City Council joining Sheriff Bianco in demanding the judge who lowered the bail resign or be barred from hearing criminal cases, claiming she should have known the risk involved. Isaiah Cordero's mother also has called for the judge to resign for granting bail to the man who killed her 32-year-old son. McKay died as a result of that shootout. The judge is a member of the San Bernardino County Superior Court. The Chino City Council approving this unanimously and says this is a matter of concern to the community of Chino, which is in San Bernardino County. The court has declined to respond to the council's demands. I'm Robert Kavasik. Colleen. Robert, thank you. And developing tonight, several people were treated tonight in Harbor Gateway following a car crash there. You can see the car jumped the curb, appears to have stopped just before hitting the building there. At least four people were in serious condition. A fifth person also hurt. At this point, it's not clear what caused the accident. And in a bizarre turn of events, a man accused of trying to steal a catalytic converter was run over. This happened in a Target parking lot in Palmdale last night. Deputies say a car with four people inside pulled up alongside a Ford excursion. One of them got out, crawled under the car, and started sawing off the catalytic converter. Here's what happened next. The victim put the vehicle in, in the, turned the vehicle on, put it in reverse, heard a thump, and stopped the vehicle where you see it now, and then saw that there was the suspect underneath the car had been, had been run over by her car. The man under the car died. Police say they arrested his three accomplices.